Hello everyone, today I want to show you how I plan to expand my chia farm using compressed plots with chia horse. My current farm is about 600 terabytes and I want to reach 1 petabyte in total farm space. We'll go over the cost of hardware as well as the returns we're expecting to get and see how much you will be making per year and how long it will take to get our investment back. I have also built a calculator that will help you estimate all the numbers correctly. With Gia Horse, we can include more plots per hard drive to earn more rewards, but we need to take a few things into account. Let's go over the details so I can get to one petabyte in total space and hopefully it will help you earn more Chia and plan accordingly. Let's get into it. Okay, and if you love Chia like me, you probably want more Chia. Um, and one way of getting more Chia is by increasing your farm size, but then you need to buy more hard drives and then you need to get to plotting and fill up all those hard drives with plots. Uh, and that's the way we do it. But now we have a new opportunity here because we can use Chia horse and we can compress plots. So we can get more plots than before into the uh, existing farm, but then we need to delete the old farm so we'll incur into energy costs uh, by replacing the new the, the old the old plots with new with new uh, compressed plots now is it worth it should you replot your existing farm and get compressed plot these are all the kind of questions we need to start answering before taking uh, that decision if you haven't built a farm yet uh, this video is also for you because we'll go over the step-by-step -step, uh, planning calculations that you need to take in order to build your farm uh, we'll go we'll over the hardware, some of the hardware to build a small farm, uh, uh, also the kind of the cost that you may incur, uh, the returns and, and how much is it worth it, right, in terms of return of investment, because uh, that's at the end what we need to be looking at really, that, you know, how long are we going to expect to to recover our investment and then how much are we going to be making per month. So let's get into that. As you can see, this is my existing farm. I have a total of 6,075 plots, which make up 601.25 TB uh, with a network space of 21.73 exabyte. My estimated time to win is eight days. That, that if I farm solo, but I'm farming into a pool, so I get partials every day. My goal here is to get to one petabyte. So the idea is, how I gonna know how many plots do I need, right? And that's kind of the calculations. Um, and not only how many plots, how many hard drives do I need to purchase to extend my farm? The same idea will apply if you're planning to build a new farm. Uh, how many hard, uh, hard drives do you want? Um, now with the compress uh, plots, we can get more uh, plots into one hard drive and, and um, we're gonna get more Chia. So we, we need to run those numbers and for that, what I did is I built this calculator. I'm gonna post it on the comment section below and you can use it. Uh, and the idea is to start with a initial terabyte uh, size for the disk calculation. So it says here size and say, I wanna expand my farm or you can use it for your new farm. I wanna expand my farm to let's say 400 terabytes. Now, because the, the hard drives, they come in terabytes, but the actual uh, measure of data is TB bytes. I already put it included the calculation there, which is the previous cell times a thousand to the fourth divided by uh, 1024 to the fourth. That's TB bytes. That's how much actual space can fit in there, uh, data. Uh, so that equivalents to 363.8 TB bytes. And that's the number expressed in TB bytes, which is the lowest unit I'm gonna be using. That's because the plots in Windows, uh, when you say size here, you can see they use kilobytes. Actually, what they meant here is kibibytes. It's just that Windows never adjusted that, or Microsoft never adjusted it. They, they kept the KB, which is, it seems like it's kilobytes, but actually kibibytes. All right, so that's the, the lowest unit they're gonna be using. Now, if you go here, HDD size, what, what kind of size, uh, of hard drives you're gonna be using. So in my case, I'm gonna try to use 18. I know there are 20 uh, terabytes uh, um, size hard drives now. I'm gonna, I think, cost efficiency, but I may find you know, that 16 is better, so you can change this. So for now, I'm gonna assume 18, and I can see that uh, 18 is 16.4 
TV bytes, so that's the in the lowest unit. Um, if you divide these two, I can see I at least I need 23 uh, hard drives, but then I'm gonna have left over this a new space on that with for about 77.78% unused. So what I can do is I'm gonna keep increasing until I fill up all my hard drives. So if I say 410 here, I can see the leftover space with 23 is 22.2. .2. So I still have more space. Let's say 40, uh, 415, uh, then it jumps to 24, 24 hard drives. So I want, uh, I can know I can fit eight hard drives per uh, per eight, eight bay um, J-Bot disk. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So that's my preferred uh, number of hard drives that I wanna be purchasing. So I'm gonna keep increasing this until I hit 100%. So 420, uh, the unused space keeps decreasing, 430, getting there. It's only 11% uh, percent left over there that I don't want to use, so let's say 432, 0%, perfect. So you see, with 432 terabytes, uh, I'm gonna need exactly 24 hard drives and there's no left over this. So that's my initial estimation of how many hard drives I want to plot if I want to expand my my farm size to one terabyte, uh, or approximately one terabyte, I'm sorry, one petabyte uh, farm. All right, let's keep going. So the next calculation will be how many plots can I feed in 24 hard drives? That that's the the kind of uh, number of that I have in mind in order to expand my farm. Um, and what I have here is my compression level. The uh, first line here says zero level, no compression. That's what I call uh, no compression because Gigahorse has uh, nine levels of compression. That uh, means that my percentage of the original size is 100%. So no compression. That's uh, the amount in, in uh, 106 bytes and that's the amount in, in bytes and that means that I can fit 165 plots per hard drive with the original uh, size with no compression. That means that in 24 um, hard drives I can exactly fit 3960, so 3960. So, Let's take into account now what would happen if I start compressing. So for that, you go here, you hit the level of compression you want. Level one will get you 83% uh, of the original size, which means uh, that's the, the size of each plot in kilobytes. So you're gonna be able to feed 199 plots versus 165 of the original size. Mm. Uh, that means that the number of plots now increased to 4,776 in 24 hard drives. And I can keep going, I can keep selecting. That's a level two, 81.5. The size gets reduced, I can fit more plots, 4,800 now. And I can keep going, level three, level four, level five, level seven is the one that I'm planning to use. If I use level seven, I'm gonna reduce the original size to 73.6. Um, that's the, the size in kilobytes. I'm gonna be able to feed 224 plots per hard drive, which is 5,376. And that's the number I'm gonna be using for my estimations, for my calculations. All right, let's move to the next item, which is the actual hardware cost. I'm gonna be using hard drives, 18 terabytes, size hard drives so i found this on on amazon uh each seagate 18 terabytes hd exos these are enterprise hard drives uh which are renewed so that's why they are cheaper uh each one is coming up to uh 215 a piece so that's the number we're going to be using the number depends where you get it from if it's renewed if it's new but that's what i'm going to be using here in the calculation 215 um, and because I'm expanding to one petabyte, I'm gonna be, I know I'm gonna be purchasing 14. I'm sorry, 24, 24, 24. So that's the total cost of hard drives only, 5,160. Now, 
now it depends where you're gonna put these hard drives you know right uh, are you gonna put some in, in your workstation in your actual computer um, the way I'm gonna be using them very simple I'm gonna purchase three a bay j bot just a bunch of disk enclosures which are these guys see you at, which I I've I purchased before see you at a bay tool um, just swap you know you know hot swappable just open this um, you just you know put your hard drive you're good to go uh, I think there these consume about 150 watts uh, we got, I'm gonna have to double check that but that's the, the number I've been using in the past uh, they are 223 a piece 223.75 a piece um, and that's what I'm gonna be using so let's go ahead and put the number 220 224 let's say actually it's 220 yeah let's get 24 and I'm gonna be using three of those so my total uh, cable cost is 632 now in terms of memory let's go to Gia horse all right so this is the latest uh, Mad Max Gia horse um, version and that's what I use to plot using my GPU and if you haven't watched my video go ahead and watch that and show you how to plot using uh, Gia horse and get your compressed plots but you can see in the first table depending on the level of compression it says here the max farm size so I know that with a 3060 Ti I don't need a 3060 Ti I can do CPU only CPU only on level 1 and 2 but I do need a, C, a, a GPU on the next uh, level of compression now I'm gonna be using level 7 so I know that my max size farm size is 3.81 mm. um, and another thing that I know is from here is my max, my minimum required uh, VRAM. So this is the memory I need on my GPU uh, for my K32 plots, which are this level. In a compression level seven, I need 1.6 uh, megabytes, so 1.6 giga. So with a 3060, we're, we have more than enough. Uh, but what about in terms of RAM? This is the amount of RAM you need, memory you need on your computer using a 16 core CPU, which I have. I have an HP A40, so I have, I have, uh, I think I have 64 uh, cores. Uh, so in a K32 with a level seven compression, I need 17.2 GB bytes, okay, minimum. That's the minimum requirement. So depending on how much memory you're gonna have to account for the cost of memory in my case um, I have more than enough I had 128 gb bytes in my workstation my HP uh, CA40 workstation but what you need to really uh, take into account is here QDA plotter and this is the plotter that we're gonna be using to compress the plots and you can see here if you're planning to plot full in RAM when you need 256 GB bytes of RAM but partial in RAM and that's what I'm gonna be using 128 gigabytes you need 128 gigabytes and two SSD drives so those those costs they need to be accounted to the calculation um, so in my case I already have that I'm not gonna plan to use uh, to plan uh, to buy more uh, 32 gigabyte sticks I, I did plan, I mean, I did uh, purchase those in the past, each stick of 32 gigabytes for our uh, HA40 uh, workstation cost me $45 uh, a piece. But I'm not gonna be um, using those anymore here. So I'm gonna say zero. Then you need to take into, into account, do you have a, an actual PC or workstation currently in place? I just put a $1,500 uh, cost. I'm not gonna use that. This is up to you to decide. And then how you gonna put all those eBay into the computer, how you gonna hook them up. One option is to use uh, these uh, hubs, USB hubs. Each hub can uh, connect up to 16. So pretty, pretty cool uh, uh, way of you know connecting a lot of uh, hard drives so you can really expand your farm with this 
uh, already done that in the past. I'm not going to purchase anymore. I have already have um, my A base uh, connected to to an existing hub. But if you plan to do that, that's one one way of doing it. You just connect to one of these power USB uh, hubs, and you're good to go. So uh, let's see the the, the cost here is 75, 76, 76. So that will be here. Uh, I'm not gonna plan there, so I'll say zero. And then you do you do need an actual uh, GPU? Uh, the one that I'm planning to use for the compressions is a is a 3070Ti uh, that I have in that computer, uh, my plotter, um, and I found it on eBay and on. Uh, new egg that they are running about 579 each 37ti so that's for hardware cost the total comes up to 5832 which has the hard drives and the abay j bots no no anything else because i already have it but that's that's the amount that you need to take in account for the minimum here um, okay let's keep going so now we got to talk about electricity cost um, this is the amount the amount of uh, kilowatts per hour uh, it's just kind of a standard but you know it depends where you live um, i'm gonna assume 0 0.10 so 10 cents of a dollar for each kilowatt hour so you can modify that uh, that value now your system this is the plotter has a amount of kilowatts per hour that's gonna be using your gpu so depending on how much gpu plus the cpu the whole system is gonna use electricity I'm assuming I'm gonna be using 400, uh, but this needs to be accurately measured at the wall. So I'm gonna be uh, assuming I'm gonna be using 400 watts per hour. Um, so I put that into the calculation. And then what's what's critical here is, depending on your system, is how many minutes per plot uh, you can get to it, right? In my previous video, I demonstrated with my HP A40, and 128 GB, I can get to a 7.3 minute plot. So that's the, the number I'm gonna be using because I already tested my system and that's what I'm gonna be using. So 7.3 minutes per plot, uh, that comes up to uh, 39,406 minutes total because the calculation takes into account the amount of plots. I know I got to plot 5,376 plots. So that's the amount in, in minutes. In terms of hours, that's 656 hours. So in terms of days, I'm gonna be plotting 24/7 for 27.4 days with that system. So the electricity for just plotting for those 27, it comes up to 262 for a 10 cent kilowatt hour. So I gotta take that into account. It's 262.71 dollars um, for just plotting. We can talk about the operation uh, cost, right? Running this 24-7 uh, every day of the year, but that's a different cost. For this is just for the investment, uh, initial investment. So my total investment comes to a total of $6,094.71, which is the sum of the hardware plus the uh, electricity needed to plot this initial 5,376. Now let's talk about profits. To get an estimation of the profits, uh, how much Tia gonna be get, making per month, I go to chiacalculator.com. And here you can see the calculator is based on the number of plots or the amount of space. But these calculators are based on the original uh, size. We're gonna have to adjust to the compressed size. So for instance, I said, let's go back to the calculator. I said, I'm gonna be using uh, expanding my farm to 392.9 TB bytes, which is the equivalent to 432 tera terabytes. So let's put that number in, 392.9. Let's put that in, 392.9. And the calculator says that that uh, is the equivalent to 3,968. Um, let's say, yeah, um, it's pretty close. Uh, I say 3,960. 3, so we, that's the amount of without compression, right? So what I'm gonna be doing is, is increasing the number of plots because I'm gonna disregard this size. I know I can fit more plots 
in the in the original size so what i'm gonna be doing is going to that number and say like i know you're saying that i can I can uh, plot 3960, but now with my compression level 7, I can plot 5376. So that's the number I'm going to be using 5376, 5376. All right. And I know I can put that amount of uh, plots in my original size of 392.9. So I'm going to disregard this uh, size. Now, with that amount of plots, I can expect time to win uh, plotting solo nine days. Uh, this is assuming the total network space of 21.8 exabyte, which is currently uh, the amount of the network, right? That can change too. Like if more people start jumping into Chia, this this amount uh, is going to increase. Um, that uh, amount of plots can get me to 0 0.0089 Chia per hour which is 0 0.2143 chi a day, which is the equivalent to 6.5236 chi per month, or a daily uh, profit of 8.36 per day. That's equivalent to 254.42 a month at the current price of chia. If chia goes up, we're gonna get more money. If chia goes down, we're gonna get less money. So I'm gonna put that number, which is 254, uh, 42 per month. That's gonna when I'm gonna be using. Let's go back to the calculator. For the per months, I'm gonna be using that. All right. So now that I know how much uh, money I'm gonna make be making per month, I know my return on investment. I'm gonna recover all these costs, hardware plus plotting, plotting in 24 months. So two years to recover. I'm gonna be making. $3,053 uh, per year. That's the amount in annual uh, profit. So this is the first thing you gotta decide, right? Does it make sense for you to recover in two years? Um, and you gonna and that's the amount you're gonna be making per month and then per year. So you, it's really up to you, right? And how much you believe in the project. So if I go to my Chia chart, this is real time Chia, uh, XCH USDT, I can see here she already bought them three times and I already at $27. Uh, when, when we started, like way, uh, it hit, you know, even more than this. This is based on probably uh, what Qcoin, but I know Chia at one point reached a thousand more than you know, 1600. But anyway, with the data we have right now since uh, August 21. Here, this in this exchange, I can see Chia bottom in twice, three times actually, and then you know um, since uh, December last year, you know start picking up my these are three moving average that I keep smooth moving average that I keep 21, 30, 50, and then 100. So uh, this kind of helps me to identify trend changes. I know the 21 crossover, the 50, that's good. And now cross over the 100. I'm waiting for this uh, 50 moving average to cross over 100. That will be a good indication uh, of where the price is going to go. Uh, if I take a fee, let me see if I can do a trend based Fibonacci extension here. If I assume this is a new wave that's coming, I can say my next leg will be. Probably, you know, it could be a three, you be one, one leg up, one correction already done. It could, it could easily go to, if we break this, right, to uh, the 1.6 extension, which is 75 and even more. So that's, that's kind of what I'm looking. We'll see. Nobody knows, but, you know, um, at least I know whether the current level of Chia, uh, if we continue, you know, Consolidating that level, uh, I'm gonna be making if I plot in 27 days, uh, I'm gonna be making 262 dollars per day. I'm gonna be recovering that in two years. So uh, it's really up to you. Uh, I think we need to, you know, use this new technology, Gia Horse. I think it's gonna be good for compressing. Uh, you do need to take into account that Gia Horse requires a different farmer. You can farm with the regular chia farm right you're gonna have to use the gigahorse farmer uh, i already have a video about that 
uh, Chia Horse Node Farmer. So you got, you're gonna have to install this farmer. That's what I'm gonna be using on this specific machine with my uh, Chia Farm expansion, right? Um, now this farmer has a different cost. So if you see here, let's see if we can find it. Um, oh, here is this. The depth fees at follow 3.125 percentage when using GPU to com to farm compressed plots and 1.562% when using CPU to farm compressed plots. So uh, that's really up to the level of compression you decide. 0% for regular and compressed plots. You keep farming regular Chia plots, which you can with this with this Chia core farmer, there's no, no charge. All right, I'm gonna be posting this calculator on the comment section below, making uh, available to everyone. Let me know if you have any questions and what are your plans to to either create a new farm, expand your, your existing farm, replot your existing uh, plots, or, or starting a new uh, section on the farm with Gia Horse. I uh, hope you guys liked the video, enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.